Hello and welcome to Nate's Art Lab. I recently started a Patreon group and everyone who joins has the option of uh, participating in a monthly collaboration. And this month's collaboration is all about consistency because consistency is more important than the ingredients that you're using. There are dozens of um, recipes for a technique like say the cloud pour and all of them work if you have the right consistency. So the challenge I set this month was for uh, everyone to do two paintings, one in the correct consistency and one in a wrong consistency. And as a, a, a little side challenge, I uh, asked them to try and fix the one in the wrong consistency until they got something that they were happy to keep. So it's a really fun collab. This may be my favorite thing I've ever done on my channel. I'm super proud of everybody who participated. The results are beautiful. Um, I've included Kathy and Becky's uh, photos and description of their work at the end of this video. And then we have um, six more people who have channels of their own. So those uh, are in a playlist in the video description below. I hope you go check them out, give them a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you're not already. And th they all did so much uh, great work. I hope you uh, really enjoyed it. We all learned something from this and I hope you do as well. So let's get to the painting. Hello, my name is Nate. Welcome to my Fluid Art channel. I am very excited to be pouring my, uh, my two canvases for Nate's Art Lab collab today. Uh, as you probably saw from the intro, I'm going to be doing uh, two pours tonight with um, the same colors, but two different consistencies. The one on the left is a thicker consistency, which is ideal for a Nautilus pour, which is what I'm doing tonight. And the other one is much thinner. So let me use, uh, this is um, Bordeaux Red from Arteza. This is uh, Vermilion from Amsterdam. And this is Primary Yellow from Amsterdam also. And as a base coat, I'm using uh, Amsterdam Titanium White. Let me use the Vermilion to show you the different consistencies. So this is the thicker consistency, which is what I like to use for my um, Nautilus pores. I can feel as I'm stirring the paint that there's a a thickness, it's almost like um, stirring heavy cream. And when you drizzle the paint off of the stick, it runs in a smooth motion off of the stick, but it leaves a mound on a mound. You see that fold right there when it hits? Um, and then if you move it around, you can see that trace that it leaves, and that trace lasts for four or five seconds. This is the ideal consistency for this type of pour. For the thinner consistency, same color, but I've added a little bit of water so that you can see that it does, I'm going to see how close I can get it. It does still leave a tiny, tiny little mound, but then it sinks in immediately and dissipates. And when I uh, go around in a circle, uh, it doesn't le even leave a trace at all. So this is um, going to be a very thin cons consistency. I've never actually tried this kind of pour with this kind of consistency. I'm sure that there's gonna be a lot more blending. Anytime you use a thin consistency like this, um, you always get a lot more blending of the colors. And this technique already, even with the thicker paints, gives us lots of blending. So let me move my thinner consistency paints out of the way. We will use these colors first with the correct consistency. I am using a split cup. This one has five chambers, this one has four. So I'm gonna use this one first and I'm gonna put, I'm only gonna use every other chamber and I'm gonna put red, orange, and yellow just like that after I put down my base coat. And uh, then I'll use this one for the thinner pour consistency. So let's go ahead and get started. Yeah. 
So here we have the wet result of our consistency test. Um, so I think there's a clear difference. Let me come over here to this one. Um, great color blending on this. You can see the yellow, you can see the orange, you can see the red. Bordeaux red always tends to take over a little bit, so I'm not surprised about that. I love this transparency in through here uh, with the, the red layered underneath the yellow. I love that little glow right there. And the center, look how beautiful that center is. Now I did just mix these paints, so there's a lot of uh, air bubbles, so I apologize about that. But look at that line, that dark line of uh, deep red there also. I guess there's a shadow of the orange right there too. That's cool how that came out. Um, I love the, the subtle little scallops throughout here. There's also definitely a nautilus shape. So yes, I really like this one. This was the thicker consistency paint. So then we come over to <clears throat> the thinner consistency paint and we did get uh, a really good spiral in this one. I'm surprised, but very happy with that. But the part that I really don't like is the center. It is a muddy, gross mess. The base coat came up um, when I removed the, uh, the dish strainer. Those lines are <clears throat> not clearly defined. Uh, it doesn't really have any kind of a focal point because of that. And um, um, I have an idea of a way to fix that, but I need it to dry first. So um, it's not a total fail, actually. Um, I, I think I like it, but it is a completely different look. This is cleaner and neater and has more intent behind it. This one, um, the center drifted off center, which is very common with thin consistency paints. Try to keep your center on when you're using a spinner with thin consistencies is very difficult. Um, so um, let me show you these when they are dry. Excuse my messy drying room. <laughs> if I come over here, hopefully there's no shadow. There we go. So stay tuned for the dry results and for my fix on the one on the left. And here we have the dry results of my two Nautilus pours. This is the one done in the correct consistency and I'm super happy with it. That center is gorgeous. I really love the defined lines. I love the, the blending. Sorry, there's a little bit of shadow there. Um, there are quite a few uh, little air bubbles because I was impatient and I poured immediately after, um, uh, after mixing the paints. Um, uh, if you don't want those little pinholes like these right here, see how the, the white base coat comes up when those bubbles pop as it's drying? So if you want to avoid that, let your paint sit for you know 24 hours before you paint with them. But I'm super happy with this. I really like it. That Bordeaux red is gorgeous. And there's not a lot of yellow left except for there in the center, um, maybe a little bit here. It's mostly red and orange, but I'm super happy with this. This is exactly what a Nautilus pour should look like. And then the second one, my fix was to do a uh, dot mandala in the center. Uh, it, I love it. It looks, it reminds me of like a native sun type pattern. Uh, I love the way I brought the dots out into the uh, the parts that kind of swirl around. I really, really am very happy with this. I think I might like it better now than the original or the, the one done in the correct consistency. These, um, uh, the colors came out really good. I'm sorry about my lighting. It's a little bit of a shadow, uh, but there are some really good defined lines coming out here. I love the spiral effect on this one, but that center was super messy and muddy and it lacked definition because the paints were too thin. Um, and uh, some weird drip lines and that kind of thing. So I think this little dot mandala brings the whole thing together, creates a really interesting focal point, and um, I think it was a good fix. So thank you very much for watching. Now stay tuned for Kathy and Becky's photos and then the train of other people participating in the, um, in the collab. Thanks again.